Hello, my name is Anthony Moore, and this is a screencast for our group presentation on quantum computing. So, Dara Lally will be making the team introduction and covering the concepts behind quantum computing and its early history. Noel Melia will then inform us about the current commercial quantum computers and some of the projects that they are actively involved in. Mohammed Luckman will then explain some of the ways in which quantum computing will change the way in which we live in the future. And then I will discuss how quantum computers will affect software developers and some of the real world challenges we may face. So, quantum computing, sorry, quantum computing in a qubit. So, Tara will begin and briefly explain what quantum computing is and how it differs from classical computing. He will then explain the benefits of quantum computing and give us a breakdown of the early history of quantum computing and how it compares to classical computing. Uh, Noel will then introduce us to the D-Wave quantum computer, which is the current leader in fully functioning quantum computers and one of the leading market researchers. Uh, he will then present some of Volkswagen's research into traffic management systems and new batteries that are using quantum computing and how this will be a, a new exciting product leading into the future. He will then cl close by showing us all the countries that are currently active in quantum computing research. Uh, Mohammed Luckman will then explain how quantum computers will revolutionize our lives in fields such as online security, artificial intelligence, pharmaceutical development, weather and climate, traffic control, space exploration, fundamental sciences, and real world language translation. I will then discuss how quantum computers can become a powerful tool for software developers and how they can be integrated with our current classical computers to make exciting new products. I will then show the audience some quantum computing languages and discuss some of the new industries that could evolve from quantum computing and explain some of the future challenges that we may face. So I would like to thank you all and I hope you enjoyed my brief overview of our presentation and we will see you again soon.